Hello, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. It is the Sun Sage, and thank you so much for tuning in to another June reading for you guys. So, um, first off, happy early birthday to those of you that will be celebrating in June, and to those of you who are uh, what Cancer, Gemini, Cuspers. Uh, happy birthday to you. Um, so this is a reading I want to tap into. I've been wanting to tap into love energies. Um, for the signs, but a lot of life stuff has been coming through. So we'll see what happens for you guys. Um, but um, I definitely want to see if there's any developments in your love life, what's happening, what's coming in. This can resonate if you are single or connected. Um, I just want to see what sort of energies are, are going on around you at this time. All right. I will take it. All right. Thank you so much. So for you guys, we have the King of Wands. Okay, could be connected to a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You have the Eight of Cups. All right, we have the Seven of Swords. Um, what's going on for you guys? Three of Cups, all right. Um, okay, the Devil, Capricorn showing up. And what else do we have for Cancers? What's going on for them in their love life? What's coming through energy-wise? Um... Has a, I feel like a fire sign has turned their back on you. Okay. Um, there could be a fire sign who, um, is leaving you in doubt. Yeah. The four of cups here. And then I have the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So there is a, a relationship or some sort of connection being confirmed here. Okay. Or that is what is heavily on you guys's mind um, throughout the course of this reading, your relationship, your connection to this person specifically. Okay. If they are a fire sign or a Capricorn. All right. Um, so I feel like this King of Wands here is showing up for what's going on in your love life. You have either turned your back um, on a, a, a relationship where you feel like you just can't do it anymore, you're emotionally exhausted, or you feel like someone has done that to you, all right? I do feel like for it to be showing up, the two of cups at the bottom of your deck, but to be have some of these um, more disruptive energies in your reading, some of you are connected, but you're going through a really bad point in your connection. So the king of wands is somebody is like, I'm going to focus on myself. OK, it could be you. It could be your person. But somebody said, I'm out of here. Right. This isn't working. That eight of cups is showing up as I'm not happy. I'm not fulfilled. And so I'm going to do me. I am going to do me. What is this King of Wands about for cancers? Thank you. Why is the King of Wands here for cancers? Um, let's see. It's the Queen of Cups. Yeah, it feels like the your person has turned their back on you, literally. Um, you guys don't feel like you're in unison here. Um, the King of Wands has his back turned. The Queen of Wands has her head down. And so it really just feels like, um, even if there's love here, right? Even if there's still passion here between you, if you saw each other, you would have a hard time, you know, sort of keeping your hands off of each other and, and not being loving toward one another. There is something here, yes, confirmed with this five of cups at the bottom that I feel is tearing you apart at this time. All right. Um, some of you feel like your person is not listening to your emotional needs, cancer. Um, so you feel ignored. All right. The six of pentacles is I feel like you guys have been supportive and a good listener to your person. And I feel like you, you may feel like you're dealing with somebody who's selfish. The emperor here is somebody who goes, well, I work a lot or I, I have a lot going on, you know, someone who centers themselves and, you know, you understand that they work or they got, you know, whatever it is they have going on, but it feels like they're not that same type of understanding to you. This does feel like your divine counterpart. So this may not be the sign of a breakup or you guys separating permanently, but it does feel like you are exhausted, giving your all, giving your 100% while not getting that same 100% back from this person that it feels like you really do care for. So the Eight of Cups is I feel like both of you may have gone your separate ways. This actually feels mutual to me. Um... Because I do pick up on two separate people. What is this Eight of Cups? This feels mutual. Both of you felt unhappy. Ten of Wands. Both of you felt stressed. Both of you felt emotionally depleted and exhausted. And so it feels like that was a mutual decision. You know, let's let's just give each other some space, some time. Um, I feel like you both have faith that this will still work between you. 
Okay, you both would like to come back together. Even if your person is acting really stubborn right now and pretending, um, I mean, just know that it is pretending. They do have faith that you guys will work out. Um, but I do feel like there's energy here. Like if it didn't end or if something didn't, you know, slow down and stop when it did, it was going to, uh, there was going to be a tower moment. I feel like you guys created your own tower moment, you or your person. And so you avoided like the worst of what it could have been but i feel like the person you're connected to um seven of swords they could have something going on um you feel like they're hiding something or being sneaky possibly regarding a third party that is showing up with the three of cups seven of swords you know it is there but it doesn't have to be it can just be that you feel like they're hiding something and they can't reconnect to you um come back to you three of cups until they open up about it um some of you uh what's the seven of swords about let me do that again. Why is the seven of swords here for cancer? What's going on in their love life? Or what's going on with cancers energetically? Justice. Um, the person you're dealing with is very smart. There is something I feel they don't want you to know about. I got a two of cups here. So somebody's person, not all of you cancers, but some of you, you, you are catching on that something else is going on. Some of you are dealing with a married person. All right. Um, and this person feels like they have also given you vibes and energy that y'all are together, but it feels like they could be married for some of you. For others of you, this person is lying about something going on in their life pertaining to legal issues or a marriage or an ex or something like that. Um, let's see what comes through with that justice. Libra showing up. King of Cups. Mm, somebody's person still cares about their ex. Nine of Cups here. Um, some of you knew. Yeah, because you're super intuitive. That's possibly why they weren't able to invest Somebody, okay, so I'm picking up definitely that somebody feels like the person you're connected to, um, they're not being honest about how they feel about you. And I feel like you're, you're, you're right. You're, you're on the money. There's something else going on. This person does feel like they have evolved feelings for someone else and possibly feelings for you too. But there's some history with somebody else they're involved with. And so, yes, there could be confirmation of a third party here for your connection. Why is the three of cups here? Um, possibly somebody they were married to that they never stopped loving. It's the chariot. That is your energy. Um, some, this may confirm that some of you are the third party, even if you don't know that, right? Um, yeah, cause I got the three of swords here. So that's like a harsh truth coming through. Um, you don't have to receive this message if it is not for you, right? Don't try to make it fit. If it's not your story, it is not. The three of cups though with the chariot, it does feel like somebody has been leading you on, promising you this abundant, great future with them. Um, or, or there's a cancer doing this to someone, right? If you're a cross watcher, um, you're, you could be here like, I'm a Libra or I'm a earth sign and my cancer is doing this to me. I do see it here. Um, somebody is being led on because they haven't been honest about the past and there could still be some ties to a past romantic person that um they aren't saying but they do feel like they have feelings i'm going to clarify this king of cups um to see what's going on with them but it does feel like they have feelings for someone the sun, possibly a Leo. The cancer you're dealing with may be connected to a Leo. They may be connected to somebody they do want a future with, right? If they're looking at this connection with you as eight of cups, 10 of wands, seven of swords type energy, they could feel like their hope in a new beginning or their hope in a healthy relationship is with someone else. Page of pentacles, possibly a Leo. Um, I feel like there was something recently revealed or there will be something revealed during cancer season during the summers because leo is here too so during the summer about where this person's feelings and heart really lies you're about to find out where their heart really lies okay um who they really want to be with it's about to come through um and yeah you're here too cancer season so we have what cancer season uh leo season coming through so july august may be um a time of big revelations about this person and what's been going on with them because they feel like they've been pretty um busy and they feel like they're like um they got a lot going on yeah there's a tower moment coming confirmed and it does feel like it is about a relationship that hasn't ended okay the horrifying here why is the devil here 
Okay, this is typically coming through because um, this is representing, because the Four of Cups is right after it, right? This is somebody who says, I can't let someone go. This is someone still attached. This is someone who doesn't see um, the benefit of releasing oneself from one connection in order to feel the full um, life and depth of another. They feel like they have to hold on to everybody. And so you're dealing with somebody who's being selfish and stubborn, um, especially if they're a Capricorn or a water sign coming through. Um, this per Yeah, Knight of Wands. This person feels like they have no intentions of releasing their passionate hold on someone else um Sagittarius now showing up seven of swords um you guys actually may get into it about this with this person this is sort of your heads up you know if you want to avoid any sort of confrontations or collisions with them but something is telling me this person is very adamant about getting their their desires fulfilled in whatever way they feel works for them confirmed with the devil they're going to do what they want to do all right, cancers. And let's see what we have with this four of cups here. Or there's a cancer doing this to someone else. Why is this four of cups here? Um, it's the king of swords. And, and they're acting as if they don't care about your feelings. So yeah, um, this is sort of a red flag for some of you coming through. This is somebody that four of cups that is detaching. That is, I, I don't see what's going on. And if I did, I didn't care. I don't care. The king of swords is saying, I have other things to worry about. And so you could be connected to somebody who has made it clear or will make it clear very soon. They're not releasing any sort of third party energies. If the devil had come through with some pentacles, some other major your arcana, I would have said, okay, this person is adamant about, you know, success, money, getting to, you know, the, their purpose, fulfilling their purpose in life because it's coming through with the Knight of Wands and another devil. I mean, come on, it's showing up that this person may have some sort of um, addiction to physical connections and not just you, but others, right? Um, there, th there could even be more than one other person here, but I feel like if you guys are feeling like there's something going on with this person, it definitely feels like that's what's, what's showing up. The King of Swords, though, they're pretty blunt in their honesty and they'll say what it is, right? I'm not ready to leave my wife. I'm not ready to leave this alone, Page of Pentacles. That feels like it's coming through this summer for some of you guys page of swords here um confirming that you're dealing with somebody who's very insensitive so just be mindful as you deal with them as you handle this situation i do feel like they are going to communicate to you at some point what's going on it's all going to come out right it doesn't feel like it's staying hidden for much longer but it is something that feels like it could um hurt you know you what you felt like you had with this person all right all right, Cancer. So that is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you're interested in a personal reading with me, check out the details in the description box and I'll talk to you soon.